Well, welcome back to the Steve Rob Show. Today, we're going to have some fun, and I'm going to show you a, uh, an idea that I thought up myself, and so far it's worked out good. I've been trying this out now for a couple of months, and guys, I think this is a great idea, and it's all about bungee cords. You know, guys, you've seen these regular rubber ones. Um, I, I don't use these anymore for one reason, really, is because, like, I'm stretching that out as hard as I can, and look at the, the, the stretch. You have to get so many different bungee cords the same size, and I don't like these rubber ones. I have them up north at my camp, holding open my two big doors. And every season, I have to change these, because they're just cracked like crazy all the way along here, and they bust. So, you know what? They're just not doing it for me. And then you got, then I switch to these ones here. Guys, this one here, you can see right about here in the middle, it's starting to go. And this is a fabric one. Ah, you can see it stretches out a little bit more. But of course, it doesn't have the flexibility. And when the water gets to it, uh, guys, another just uh, Yahoo job. And then you get these ones here. Now these ones here come in different lengths and everything else. And uh, you have to pretty much match up the length that you need. But does this ever happen to you guys? You see the end here guys, put it right there, like this piece at the end here is just narrowed right down and this thing is ready to break at any time. Guys, I don't like it at all, it's uh, garbage. So what I went with was this stuff here. Guys, you're not going to believe this, I've had this one here, a sample in my truck now for at least a month. And I've used this to hold up my gas can. I showed before the mods in the back of my truck there. Guys, this is all it is right here. And this is the material. And check, check, check this out, guys. Like, I can stretch this. And you wouldn't believe, like, the flexibility. It is just unbelievable. I'm going to show you a perfect example uh, coming up of what I've done to one of my, uh, my totes. I always carry my still, um, it's like this combination trimmer that you can put attachments to and I always leave it on top of one of my uh, boxes that I carry my tools up with and of course you got to fasten it down somehow and I always used to struggle trying to find a bungee cord that could fit. Guys, check this out here. See at the end here? You know what that is? That's just uh, 3 16 rod. Guys, I get all this rod all the time for free. There's so many contractors around here. They do a roof or they do uh, any kind of service on a, on a house and they leave you know, the placard out. Well, after about three or four weeks, the homeowner gets sick and tired looking at that thing and they throw the uh, plastic in the garbage and they throw the rods out. And they're like a big H shape. And guys, I just picked these up for free. So, you know, I can make a whole bunch of these things like you wouldn't believe. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do one for you right here. But guys, I bought this material. I paid around under $10. Well, maybe that. Maybe about $7 for 15 feet. And I just ordered 33 more feet of it for under 15 bucks. Uh, you're going to see this stuff plastered all over my camp. I got all kinds of ideas of how to use this. And guys, when you... This does not fall off the rod at all. And I'll show you how it installs. And guys, check this out. Like, I mean, this is just unbelievable. And it's strong. And you can double it up if you want to. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do one for you. And I'll show you how it all goes together. Okay, so I'll show you the, uh, the finished product here. Guys, I just bend these up. And I put them on my wire wheel to make sure there's no sharp edges. You know, that's what you got to do. You got to make sure there's obviously no sharp edges and cut ends and everything else. And here's one here that I've done. And I just stick it in the vise. Now you could use a couple of pair of pliers. I mean, come on, 3 16 is not that tough. And all I do is stick it in here. Then I get my uh, hammer. And you know, just tap it across. Take it out. Stick it in the vise. Guys, I just bend it down like this to the shape that you want. You can make all kinds of different shapes, horseshoe shapes. You can do all kinds of stuff like that. So now let's put it together. Okay guys, so we got the two pieces of metal here. 
and they're very simple and all I'm going to do is you just take your piece and you just push it on and there's no you know you're not putting anything on there you're not putting no uh, no lubrication you're not putting nothing and you can see how it starts there and you just push it in behind and just keep pushing it you know and it'll eventually want to stop on you anyways you know and it takes a little bit of pressure you know to to do it now that's on there like that now the more you pull on this the tighter it makes it here and I thought that was pretty interesting and you know you could orientate your uh, your pieces any way you want but I mean it swivels around it moves and guys you know in real time there you go you made one up and and that's it I mean guys it doesn't get any better than that so uh, I'll show you how I cut them okay so you can use your uh, small little reciprocating saw that kind of stuff but guys I don't bother with that at all I just use my bolt cutters if you have bolt cutters guys I can do like 50 pieces in like a minute so easy just snap 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 with one of these and I think that's just terrific so I hope you like that idea and I'm going to show you an example of what I've done on my uh, my toolbox that I carry my uh, steel trimmer in let's take a look at that next okay guys this is it right here and you can see I've got it all bungee corded down here and guys like I mean this ain't gonna go nowhere I mean you could see how it's all done and it took me maybe five minutes to make these things up and I just take one apart here guys that's it so easy and could you imagine like under under 15 bucks getting uh, over 30 feet of this stuff guys I'm gonna have my place just uh, you're gonna see this summer all kinds of this stuff I'm replacing all my bungee cords with this and this is using for making slingshots and I thought that was just amazing uh, you know and I'll put a link down below to the exact uh, specifications of the one that I got they do come in different sizes and they're all metric and uh, I'll uh, where is it here I'll show you uh, what it looks like inside guys I don't know if you're going to see that or not but it's about a quarter of an inch on the outside and maybe an eighth of an inch on the inside and there was you know some that were smaller diameter but guys this is this is the way to go my days of these bungee cord stuff is over I can make all my own for next to nothing so I hope you like that guys and if you haven't seen this channel before you're welcome to subscribe come back again let's have some more fun cheers guys